All right, we are back. PSP New Jersey Open. I'm Maddie Marshall. I'm up here with Nikki Cuba, and we are about to watch the D2 semifinals. We're watching Distortion take on Static. This should be a great match, and the rain continues to fall here. We got about 52 seconds before the start of this first point. It is a race to five. Just Again, we apologize for the internet feed. We are running a satellite uplink here, and when it starts to downpour, that affects the quality of the feed. So, doing our best out here to brave the elements to bring you this paintball event here. We'd also like to thank our sponsors again for making this all happen, and uh, for the crew and these referees that are just just having to get out here in the abyss and uh, and just stay out in all day long. Yeah, this is rough when you got to. Uh work and you're not playing and you don't got your adrenaline going and you're just cold and getting shot. The refs are, uh, you got to give respect to these refs. Yeah, so we're in a scissor jack, folks. <laughs> we are not in a tent. We're up in the air, risking our lives for you. In the middle of a thunderstorm. In the middle of a thunderstorm. No lightning, thank God. Yeah, well, right now. But uh, we have a blue tarp over us as... Two of the distortion players are walking off the field in a group effort. So Five of Static still alive. You're looking at Static on your right-hand side of the screen right now. They got guns up. They got communication going. But they're just trying to, uh, I think, feel out their opponent right now. Yeah, and you know, Nikki, we've seen a lot of And it looks like they just shot another guy. We're trying to move up. And yes, it gets clipped on that uh, pit side of the field. You know, so Distortion trying to get out wide over there, and you're looking at Static's lineup right now. Very strong. Five alive, cross field spread. Look at them all gunned up and rolling their guns. I'm yep. interested to see, though, see if they have the count. I was going to say, if they knew the count, probably they'd be moving aggressively upfield. they got to do it smart, though. Yep. And uh, we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of slow points, Nikki. And there you go. Uh, as you say it, he widens out, spreads the field, comes to the show tape. And uh, what he needs to do is just crawl the length of that snake, Matt, and uh, close down the field on him instead of trying to initiate Sorry. this gunfight. Yeah, I don't know why he's gunfighting out of the spot. I mean, if no one's stopping you, and if, if you're listening out there, no one's... And the ref's coming in hard for Static. If he has a hit on him, he might have a penalty. He's got yeah, the he's red got flag the, he's got the flag in, in, in his hand waiting for it. No, he's clean. No, he's clean. So Collins in here for Static is... And uh, there's one guy left for distortion right now. Yeah, Col Col Collins is uh, doing a good job in here, but the fort, just like you said, Nick, I mean, when you get in a spot, if you're out there listening and you're in the snake and no one's at your, there's no one in the snake with you and there's no one on that side of the field, yep. get down the field. Yep. You know, it's just a simple. It's textbook. Yeah, it's a one paintball 101, man. If no one's putting you in, if you're not being shot at, if you're not engaging with somebody, then you're not playing paintball. Yeah, you know? take the real estate that they give you. Don't go streaking down the field trying to be a superstar, mm -hmm. but just take what they give you. They give you another bunker, take that next bunker. If they're still not shooting at you, look for the next move. Exactly. Until you get engaged. Earn you know? this, you got to earn those small bumps. But, hey, if they're going to give you the whole field, take the whole field. And that's why you know, mm -hmm. a lot of the best players out there right now, you'll see them. They're running with their eyes up, and they're taking all those variables in, and they're, and they're processing that information and then moving in to what they see. So if somebody's yeah. going to work against them and put them in, they're going to go in. But if you see you know, Alex Goldman like, sprint down the field, and people look at it and go, oh, he's ran the whole length of the field. It's a big bite. You know, Matty and Nick oh, are always saying, don't do that. Well, but he had his eyes up. Exactly. He earned that. Yeah. So... So right now, Static up 1-0 to zero against Distortion, 13-19 on the clock. And that was a pretty quick point from what we've seen so far. So let's look at the breakouts here. Looking at Distortion on your screen, and they got chopped up pretty quick. I mean, it looked like they got five alive out. No, but yeah, the referee goes in there and... Pulls him out quick. Yeah, referee pulled him out and quick. And then uh, yeah, pulls it was a penalty. Buddy. Yeah, so that was actually a penalty was assessed. I didn't see the flag go up. So I was going to say, I, I, yep. when I watched that guy run to that bunker and, uh, and then start shooting, blazing away, and then the referee goes in there. I'm like, well, th that's, that wasn't a penalty, so that was a penalty. So, you know, penalties are going to kill you. Now, in these, the lower divisions, um, the penalties work a little bit differently than the games you've been watching on the pro division. The pro division, you get a, you get a minute for a minor, two minutes for a major, and then you got to go to the box. There is no box. The box is not, the penalty box is not in play in the divisionals, in the, in the divisions. What happens is if you're going to see one arm go up, that signifies a minor penalty, and that's a one-for-one. One. If you see two arms go up, that's you come out because you're hit, and then two more of your boys walk off too. So getting a major penalty really hurts you in divisional play. Yeah, three bodies for one really hurts. All right, so the teams now switch sides, and you're looking at 
Distortion, again, heavy guns up. Five bodies live, as I say that, they drop one of their players trying to bump out to the pit side, and they also drop their player on the spectator side of the field trying to be the uh, front player getting into the snake. So now Distortion has to play on their heels as Static able to shoot some players off the break. And Static is trying to make moves over here. Look at the, all the Static players. might have another person out. And he's still in. They still have four bodies. It's four on three right now. You're looking at Collins, who did work in that last game. And he did it smart, Matt. He got yeah. in that snake and didn't necessarily do what he was supposed to get down it real quick. But he did what he was supposed to do by staying alive because he knew that he was the only guy on the side of the field. Mm -hmm. So then you don't choose to initiate other gunfights and get into those gunfights and challenge, you know, 50-50 shots. You know, you gotta yeah, be smart. Exactly. And, and right now, I mean, these guys are playing to try to make it into the finals. They're watching Division Two right now, and yeah, there's no mistakes allowed. It's Sunday. It's the last game that you got right now. That's how you gotta play it. This is the last game of the day. Yeah, it's, it's win or go home at yep. this point. And it's gonna be a tough order, though. As again, these conditions are the conditions aren't helping, and you're gonna look at these teams lock out the field because it is that last game. There are going to be long, drawn-out points happening right now. No one wants to make the mistake. Yeah, th that's what we've been watching all morning is a lot of long, drawn-out points. Is you know, And as we say that, Static player gets knocked out of that pit side of the field, Tall Temple. So now it's even. 3-3. Yeah, three, three. Three. three on three right now. Matched up on the pit side. Doritos are hot I for both teams. I would say Static has better field position right now because they have a better cross field spread and a player, they have Collins here who, if uh, if Distortion gets off him, can make a move into the snake. Yeah, right now he only has one guy on him and it's the back center. He needs to talk to his buddy, his teammate that's behind him and say, put in the back center and let me see if I can get up to this next bunker. Not necessarily jump into the snake, but to the next bunker. And keep on applying that pressure so it frees up that other side, frees up that pit side. Yeah. Turns the guns. Exactly. And right now, look, I mean, look at this. This is really playing this slow, though. These guys are, are not, y you can see by their body language, they're not really wanting to make a move. Now, because it is raining, um, y you can make aggressive moves and get away with it. You know, it it's tough to shoot a a accurate streams. Um, yeah, because the rain's getting in the ports of the barrels if they haven't taped it up mm -hmm. or have a, a closed barrel. You know, that definitely affects everything. Oh, oh and Collins. Collins. And it was the next mistake. They're still in all right position, but they're not talking. They're both on the outsides. The guy in the middle could come streaking right up the middle of the field. As I say that, he takes some real estate. And they shoot out the back center, so it's a two on two. Yeah, two You're on two right at, now. Oh, streak oh. it down. Yeah, streak it down. Nice job by oh. Static running out of oh, Storship, but then he gets guys. he gets shot. So chaos over there. And he gets There's both guys. His buddy was over here loading head down. Uh huh. Luckily enough, his, his other friend from Static streaks down the field on the pit side, bunkers the guy in that leg segment, and uh, trades out with the guy that was trying to run down the field. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so nice job by Static, um, or, and Distortion too, I mean it was a close, it was definitely a close point, um, but it's one of those situations where, you know, we always say win the close ones, so. Mm -hmm. This rain's coming down a lot harder, folks. Yeah, it's starting, and this is, this is nothing compared to what we were seeing this morning. This is supposed to go on until Tuesday, they say. Tuesday, this is the East Coast, welcome, Maddie. <laughs> this is not sunny San Diego. It rains for three days in a row this out is here? the gloomy Northeast. God, it is the apocalypse. <laughs> All right, let's check out the breakout here. All right, so on the replay. Looking at Static. Yeah, Static running out there, and they were able to make it out to that back corner. And then on the flip side, doubling up that back center and able to make out to the corner as well. So and then you're looking at that last run through down the tape. Smart move because it was like what you said, you know, um, the rain and everything like that. Uh, actually, and they're on the pit side, so they don't have the ability to have that coach over there yeah. let them know. Mm -hmm. And they weren't having any communication. That was a, a, a total malfunction between Distortion's two guys not watching over each other. Exactly. They're not having the lanes covered. They're not crossed up. There was no communication. They were just playing by themselves. And that's why they deserve to lose that point. I agree. But you know, this is the thing. We're, t we're in Division Two right now. 
And these guys, they're obviously the best players in Division 2. That's why we're watching them play in the semis to try to make it to the finals. After this game, we're going to see Boom take on Rhythm. And that's, those are the other two teams that have made it into the Division 2 semifinals. So we're watching the best, but this is still Division 2. So, you know, we're, we've been watching these pros play all day yesterday and watching the D1 guys play this morning. So you're going to see these longer points, even longer than the ones before, because these guys just aren't experienced enough to deal with the conditions and deal with the pressure of playing in the semifinals on Sunday and, you know, in front of the, all the eyes of the paintball world. And they're, it, they're probably going to be more, they should, they should not be concerned about, oh, God, I, I don't want to make a mistake, I don't want to make a mistake. They should be focusing on, I'm going to go out, exert my will on the other team, and let them mm -hmm. react to what we're going to do. Well, that comes with, you know, being in the league for a long time, playing in a lot of events, and, and getting that swagger. Yeah. You know, you got you to gotta earn that. And we're going to see if that, these teams have it. And so Distortion, again, just kidding, losing. chopped up off the break, losing that back center in the back corner, three bodies left alive. Big move coming. Snake move. And he got a core sample. Yeah, he did. That's why he's got to go to like one of our clinics, <laughs> learn how to dive. I think that's Clark for static. Yeah, Nick Clark for static. That was, a, that was a good move. You know, he took advantage of what was in front of him. He had his head up, and, and he did what Alex Goldman did, like we were just talking about. Head up, seen no one was shooting at him, no one shooting at him. Uh, keep on going. Keep yeah. on going. I, absolutely. He made a great move. But I think you're right. He, so on the run in, he might have taken a core sample because he's uh, doing major surgery on his gun right now. I, I think he doesn't know how to uh, check his barrel. Maybe that's it. He's got so much dirt in it. I yeah, think. or maybe when he hit, might have broken some paint in the hopper. That does happen occasionally, too. So yeah. right behind him. Especially in this cold weather right now, the paint's very fragile. Yeah. You know, and you're already trying to shoot the fragilest paint out there. Yeah. So uh, Zachary Daughtry is right behind him, backing him up. So Nick Clark and Daughtry over here for Static, and they're in really good field position. But let's see what they do with it. Looks like Clark finally got his gun up. Nice job. There you go. Makes the move across. Oh. Ooh, almost got almost shot, though. Up. He's got to get tight in there. He yeah. Sorry. Um, what I was going to say is that Dorito, if he's walked the field and he's played it enough, he knows that there's that bounce shot off of the finger. I think a lot of these teams don't look for those shots that us pros look for. Yes. And when we're walking the field and when we're testing out this field. And... There's two different shots that could shoot this guy right now because of the way he's playing it. The only way that you're really safe is when you're fully prone position. Yeah. And also, I think it's interesting to note that the distortion player, you're watching the, the uh, water spray off the net right here as the paint impacts it, and it's he's going high. All of his snapshots, he's shooting high. So even when he comes out, he's still not really effectively putting that fire back at Clark to keep him honest. Yeah, and I don't know if that's because uh, the weather or if he's not pulling his trigger at the right time and he's hitting the bunker mm -hmm. which is you know off. such a bad bad thing to do because you're already going to put yourself out there and let him have the ability to shoot you mm -hmm. so you got to commit instead of just you know half assing it yeah i totally agree and that's a really good point actually is that though but those are those small differences nikki like you were talking about you know it's the little differences that that are the difference between the divisions and um and, and the snapshot such a simple mechanism such a simple movement but yeah when you're doing it under pressure and you're getting it you know down poured on and your stuff's probably not working like you want it to and then it, all that mental frustration sets in and it, it gets you out of your mode yeah another thing is that uh in these divisions this guy clark is in the snake for static and he's rather talking to the coach on the sideline than his other teammate. They have not had one conversation. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, why are they doing that? You know, they're, really they're not even bringing him involved in it. He's got his gun down. Yeah, Daughtry he's hasn't looking done anything. Around. He yeah. hasn't done anything. All he does is hold his gun against the bunker, and he's looking around. It's a wasted gun. Uh, as I say that, he pulls up, shoots somebody. You hey, know? hey, better late than never, right? Better late than never. Better late than never. Nice, uh, nice job, actually, by Daughtry to finally get in the game. Uh, takes a really good shot cross field and gets one of the distortion plays. So I was going to say, you know, now Static, they don't have to do anything. They're up 2-0 right now. Distortion is going to have to come at them. But now that Daughtry got that yep. great shot, that's just going to really going to open things up. And then right Daughtry, after that. Daughtry, yeah, he fills into the snake. He needs to lock down that zone. So now they can't fill in and match on the pit side snake and have Clark watch them on the wire. But they're not having a conversation. No one's watching them. Yep. This guy could probably come streaking down if it wasn't on the show side. Yeah, that's true. Because that's a good point too. On the show side, it's hard to make those really big, huge um, game moves. Breaking from, yeah, moves. game breaking moves because you're going to have everyone screaming, "He's coming!" and then he's going to trade out. You're just going to trade out, which is unfortunate. 
probably not even trade out because you got no bunker to dive off yeah, into. Yeah, from that back center, no. Uh, there's a big open spot between that back corner bunker, as you just saw on your screen right there. And Good um, recovery, Matt. Good recovery. <laughs> well, that's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, the Thero's going to say, eventually, Distortion's going to have to blow this horn and can see the point. Save the time. And reset. So, with five minutes and eight seconds left, um, with five minutes and eight seconds left, it's really going to be tough for Distortion to get back in this match. I mean, we've already blown through 10 minutes of game time, and Distortion has yet to get on the board. So you have a situation where Distortion is really going to have to go back to the drawing board and, and sit down, and their coach is going to say, look, man, what we're doing right now is not working. Um, we're losing guys off the break. N you're, none of you are playing uh, aggressive enough for us to get in there. But let's So let's look at that breakout from that last point. As, again, this score sits 3-0. to zero. So you're looking at static and nice cross field spread, man. They send somebody out to both corners and they have three guns up. And he's able to get in there alive and then follow that up right there. So that's a nice job. Now on the flip side, you're looking at distortion. And distortion doubling up that back center. They too had three guns up, sending out two runners wide. But player getting shot immediately on his fill over. Lucky he didn't get a penalty over there as the ref was trying to pull him out for a couple steps. And they also lose that back center pretty much immediately. So they essentially started with three guys. And you can't do that on this field. No. You know, three guys, three bodies against the five. Especially on this field, you, there's so many zones that it cuts down into uh, uh, sectional fields almost. So it's like you got one side on the spectator side, one side in the middle, and one side on, that, uh, uh, on the uh, pit side. And if you don't get out to one of the sides and, and control that zone, it's going to be lights out for you. Absolutely. All right, 20 seconds to go here as the players are making their way onto the field. And you can tell they're trying to spend as much time as they possibly can in those pits before the force to come out into this Tempest. And a timeout is called, so now the players are going to scurry back to cover. You know, if you're going to call that time, it was, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Okay, so for sure that was a static timeout. Well, maybe not. Maybe Distortion called that timeout. Yeah. But, but it's funny that all the, it, I'm thinking it must have been static as the, calling the timeout. Yeah, because Distortion's running back exactly. in Exactly. And just then they let Distortion walk out, get soaked, and then have to walk all the way back. I just wanted to say sorry to all the people watching and getting my uh, updates <laughs> <laughs> for the lag. <laughs> Well, the thing, yeah, again, you know, when, uh, with this, this rain, um, it does affect our satellite and our satellite uplink. Um, so the, the harder it rains, the, the tougher it is for that satellite to actually get the, the feet across. That's why it may be a bit laggy, a bit choppy. We're doing the best we can out here. Yeah, it's a great job you guys have been doing all weekend, man. Without you guys, no one out there would get to see what we do. Somebody's got to see it. Got you know, got we got to get it out there, man. Yeah, it's important. I know. This is the, these are the best paintball players in the world, you know, and these are the best Division Two paintball players in the world, fighting to try to get to the finals, and try to fighting to try to move up the ranks. Static been around for a while, Distortion been around for a while, and then we get to see Boom and Rhythm after this. And right now, it's just been all static in this game with yep. just about over five minutes left to play. The to me, they just look like a uh, a better team. They they look like they play better team paintball. You know, still lacking in communication at, at uh, the mid to end game, but in the beginning of the game when they have five bodies, they're they're talking a lot. They're getting the communication across the field where the G's are coming from. Um, but then they lose it, but they still keep together. Yes, exactly. That's the thing, man. I mean, that's what, that's what I love about paintball is that I love the chaos. I love the fact that when things start going wrong or even whatever, whatever the chaos is, that's what why it's fun. It's yeah. because you're forced to gut check. You're forced. It's like, okay, all right, we're going to put this really chaotic situation in front of you. How well does your mind work in that chaos? That's yeah. one of the best parts of paintball, man. That's what this test is. There's a breakout, big breakout from Distortion. Yeah, so Distortion is able to get one of the static players off the field, off the break. And they're going to need it here because, again, they're not a lot of time. They have to score three points just to tie this, try to take it to overtime. We've already seen two overtime matches today. And Dynasty just uh, had an overtime match against Impact as they beat them. So our final is already set for the Pro Division as it's going to be Tampa Bay Damage and San Diego Dynasty. That game is going to be going on at 3.20 in the afternoon. Before that, though, we have all the divisional finals coming at you. And we're looking at the D2 
semifinals right now. Yeah, and right now you're looking at the distortion guy. Right now you just flipped over the static guy that's shooting at him, keeping him, you know, held up in that bunker and not letting him get into the show side snake. Yeah. He's doing a great job of that. He's trying to bring back his team right now and put this guy to bring it back to a uh, four on four. Distortion making good moves, good fills right now. They're uh, trying to bump up yeah, on that pit side of the field and they make it in there. Yeah, Clean. that's a great move to get into the snake one over there. And he's going to have a shot on that stand-up. And I don't think that stand-up knows that he got in there. See the referee? Oh, he missed that shot. So the top but the center of your screen right now, you're watching Distortion get all the way past the 50-yard line or to the 50-yard line. He missed his shot, though, across field. So and he's, he's going to... He's going to get one. Sorry to cut you off. He's going to get one right now on this guy in his pack. Yeah. Look at his ref, right? That was the shot he missed. Maybe he got it finally. He moved up to the, oh, get he, a better shot. He must have bounced him because that ref came in there hard. And I know that shot. I've played uh, that, that bunker. That, that's the shot right there that you come into. What he needs to do is get inside, and it's going to open up. He could do this checklist. Shoot the, the can, shoot the center bunker, and shoot the Dorito on the inside. If he gets in and just closes down that field. Absolutely, that's, I mean, that's a great breakdown. And now finally, finally makes that shot. But you know what happened? Smith turned his gun over there. So it's like, look, Smith needs to, if you're getting, if you've got balance in the back twice and you can't get any smaller, then you have, you are forced, you gotta do something. You, you gotta, are forced to turn your gun to that side and live by your gun now. You don't wanna just, just pray to the paintball guy that he's gonna keep bouncing your back. I, that's ridiculous. You move forward or you turn and face I mean, the guy. I mean, that's like getting punched in the face consistently. And then <laughs> if you don't move, you're gonna get punched again. Yeah, you didn't I get think knocked I out. Move. You didn't get knocked out, but eventually the guy's gonna knock you out to keep letting him put you in the button. So chaos is erupting here on the field as uh, distortion continues to push into static. But they get chopped up and static uh, weathering a storm, so to speak, and breaking out to these corners. And now they're having a conversation. They're talking it up. They're looking over each other. They don't have their guns blazing. Maybe they're low on pain or something like that. It's possible. But we have two minutes left in this game, and distortion needs to take this game really quick. And you look at the body language. He knows it, too. He knows he needs to uh, really start putting it on distortion. Now his, his buddy needs to move up though. Yeah, he needs to help him out. He thinks he's doing a good job by keeping that guy in the back right. But he has the ball right now. He, he could come up and, and close down this field. Yeah, and it's end right. Get into a better position. And end right from distortion is, is, is in a great position, but the problem remains. Minute and 50 seconds, they're down three points. Yeah. And right's doing all he can. Enright. His buddy is just on, a, on one knee, stuck in the uh, uh, relatively far back bunker compared to where Enright's at. Yeah. You know, now he's finally, oh, okay, I'm going to make a move, but he gets put back in his bunker again. Man, you need to put a guy in and go at this point. You, you're probably not going to be able to, to win anyway, so you might as well giddy up and go at and this point. There's look, nothing to lose. Look at him. Enright taking it upon himself. He's going to try to win the game single hand or win the point single handedly. Who almost dropped through a penalty. That should have been a penalty if he's walking out. That's a, a blown call by the ref right there. You could see it. He wanted to do it. Yeah. He wanted to call that penalty. I mean, but he, Oh, he's out of paint. I called it. I knew it. That's why he wasn't shooting. So now he's trying to pick up muddy paintballs and put them into his gun and think he's going to get a straight <laughs> shot. <laughs> yes. If he does, that would be amazing, folks. And this, is, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you carry more paint out on the field. Especially we, in rain. Yeah, especially in rain, especially in the semifinals, man. If you're in the semifinals, you're going to have longer points. Exactly what you just said. Especially in the rain, especially in semifinals. And if you've played this field, especially on this field. Look at this little oh, dozy do Oh, down. And it... it 40 seconds. So great job by Distortion to win this point. And I do, I, it's inexcusable that the static player would run out of a paint. First of all, that, that point started with five minutes left. You're telling me you're not bringing, you, you're not bringing enough paint to last four minutes, the last four minutes, and you're in a back bunker? And you're going to a gunfight? You and you don't have enough ammo? Yeah, carry nine pods out, kid. I mean, that's inexcusable. The Distortion, now, okay. Static's going to win this game. However, it's mental mistakes like that. You're going to go into the finals now and play either boom or rhythm. And if I'm boom or rhythm, I'm watching this and going like, okay, that kid, that, that, that guy doesn't know what's up. You know, he went Maybe out to he play. knows now. Yeah, they, they learn from your mistakes. Absolutely learn from your mistakes. You always said that to me. You know, learn from your mistakes, stuff like that. And maybe in his head now, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe I just ran out of paint in the, the semifinals. Yeah. Maybe he's going to throw two more pods in. That's yes, what he needs to do. Exactly. Not one, but two. Yes, exactly. Because you never know. And learning from your own mistakes, that's the hard way. Learning from other people's mistakes is the easy way. So yeah. 
Yeah. And we and it's you know we we harp on this every single time time you know tournament in tournament out is the, you always are seeing guys run out of paint and boggles my mind. If you yeah. need, I, I understand if it's like a ten minute point and you were in a crazy spot that you were wheeling and dealing and, or protecting what your front guy and you just had you had to it was in and it was in a situation where you're in and you are locked in a battle the entire time. Okay, I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. But you have to have that knowledge that once you get down to that last pod, yo man, you gotta stop shooting that fast. You know, like you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're the last guy left alive and you're picking paintball muddy paintballs up off the ground to try to keep your team in. Now luckily for static they have a two-point lead with 31 seconds left, so this game is over. Yeah. But still, you know, it's just one of those things that... Well, you got to, like, look outside the box, uh, you know, when um, you're trying to critique yourself, so to speak, and, and make yourself a better player. Yes. And, and it, it's so easy to point the figure at someone else and say it's their fault instead of why was it my fault, you know? Yeah. What did I do wrong? And I know, you know, when I look at our team, I know I didn't shoot enough people. I know I didn't take enough uh, ground when I was playing, mm -hmm. and you know that's not going to happen come World Cup. Look at this! Oh, he got shot on Huge the break. Huge break from distortion. I love to see that though, coming oh, falling. as aggressively as they possibly can. And oh, there's penalties. No, no the, that that was the he flag. grabbed the flag. So distortion going as, as fast as they possibly can into the guns of static. And if you're going to go out, man, that is the way to go out. That, go that out was awesome. blazing. So they, they at least, they lo they lose this game as Collins shoots the last player, but you know, Collins played really well. So Distortion, though they did lose by two points in this really low sco scoring affair, score final score going to be 3-1, to one, and Static will advance to the final, the D Division 2 final, to take on either Boom or Rhythm, who will be playing directly after this game. But hey, man, I I would love to see. I love that's what I love. That's that's what I'm talking about. So yeah. props to Distortion for going out hard. That's the way. That's if you're the gonna only lose, way. That's how you lose. You don't go in their bunkers and sit there and roll your gun. Yeah, no. You run the train. Yeah, I love it. Choo choo. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I would do. Yeah. So congratulations again, Static. To Static. Moving on to the final. Next up, we have Boom taking on Rhythm. And what should be a very interesting game here as the rain continues to fall. This is the PSP New Jersey Open. I'm Maddie Marshall, and I'm up here with Nikki Cuba from Team Infamous. Oh, we'll yeah. Be right back. Empire Fanball.